All right, I'm going to go over this line control technique. Um, it does take a little while to build up your lines, but in the end you get kind of a three-dimensional type texture look. Um, so I'm going to be using just a flare marker, um, and it's a fine tip skinny uh, marker. And uh, I'm using a variety of colors, but you can just do this with black. It gets great results. So the first thing you're going to do is whatever space that you are working with, and I'm just going to work on this index card, you are going to make a curvy line, not a bumpy line, across the space. So that's my main line. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is based on the length of the line, I am going to add uh, numbers of dots. So I want these to be unequally spaced. So I'm going to have a dot there, a dot there, then maybe I'll leave a little bit more room here. Um, the more curves you have, the more um, kind of randomly spaced the lines are, kind of the more of an unpredictable result you'll get, but it also can be kind of interesting. So I have my main line, I have dots, so for this particular length, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dots. Now I'm going to turn this, just make it a little bit easier for me to work, but the idea is I am going to follow next to the line, the main line, um, I'm actually going to switch colors. I'm going to follow right next to it very closely without touching. And then when I get near to the dot, I'm going to gradually curve in and touch it. And then I'm going to gradually curve back out, gradually curve in and touch it. Here I'm following the line, trying to keep consistent spacing. So I do the whole length of the line. I do not just do one section at a time. All right, so I followed all along the line. Now I'm going to follow along the bottom of the line in the same manner. So I'm going to continue to do this until I build up. Um, so I'm probably going to fast forward this video, but I am using the same technique. When I am not near a dot, I'm just following next to the line. When I get near to a dot, I curve in and gradually touch it. Yes, you do want to touch the dot each time. That is going to create kind of shadows or a bundle of lines that will start to create that 3D look. So I am doing a second line on the top. Again, following along, same consistent spacing. When I get close, I curve in and touch it. And the bottom.
No, we still have about five minutes. I'll let you know. She has no idea what we're doing. I wasn't here. Like maybe you need to canvas. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Or ask questions. Yep. I hope this is not part of your audio. Uh, I'm going to be fast forwarding through this part. All right, so I'm almost done on this side. You can see that some of my um, curves have kind of joined together as I'm getting to the edge of the space. I'm just continuing the line as if it were connected. Um, but the most important part is that when you go to touch the dot, um, that you join up with that kind of thicker bundle, and that's going to start to create that feeling of three-dimensional form almost um, with this particular method um, you don't have to do it this way but I know a lot of students are interested in it so I just kind of wanted to show you how I did that so that's just on the one side I would continue on the other side um, the other thing that I didn't do in this but I certainly can if you are working with colors you can switch and make patterns or um, switch colors and make a different variety so these are obviously more like cool colors or ocean colors and this looks a little bit like waves so it might make sense to incorporate some of these greens in with the blue and it it could make an interesting color combination and almost blend it in um, somewhat similar to like what pointillism would do so that is the technique. Um, hope you enjoy it.